साधु 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 नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम्मास नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम्मास नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम्मास बुद्धं शरण गच्छामि धम्मं शरण गच्छामि संघं शरण गच्छामि द्वितीयं ति बुद्धं शरण गच्छामि द्वितीयं ति धम्मं शरण गच्छामि द्वितीयं ति संघं शरण गच्छामि तत्यं ति बुद्धं शरण गच्छामि तत्यं ति धम्मं शरण गच्छामि तत्यं ति संघं शरण गच्छामि पानाति पाता वेरमणि सिखापदं समादियामि अदिन्ना दाना वेरमणि सिखापदं समादियामि कामे सुमिच्छा चारा वेरमणि सिखापदं समादियामि मुसा वादा वेरमणि सिखापदं समादियामि सुरा मेरे मज्जपमा दत्ताना वेरमणि सिखापदं समादियामि साधु 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 सो वी हैव फेड आवर होमेज टू द ट्रिपल जेम द बुद्ध धम्म एंड संग रीजन इज दैट to show our respect and also gratitude for what we are going to practice the meditation and then we chanted the five precepts that is to keep our morality as i mentioned the meanings of these pali uh, stanzas so these pali sentences uh, the first one says i take the precept to abstain from killing the second one says i take the precept to abstain from taking that is not given to me third one says i take the precept to abstain from sexual misconduct fourth one says i take the precept to abstain from false speech and fifth one says i take the precept to abstain from intoxicants that is to keep our morality and next we are going to do a reading this is called the uh, discourse on loving kindness uh, the buddha's discourse on metta or loving kindness and at the end of uh, the silent meditation session we will be practicing metta meditation and this is the discourse of the buddha on loving kindness so let us do this reading the discourse on loving kindness one who is skilled in the good and who wishes to attain that state of calm nibbana should act thus one should be sincere to oneself upright and conscientious of soft speech gentle and not proud contented living simply peaceful and unburdened with senses calmed prudent modest and without showing anxiety for support one should not commit any slight wrong on account of which wise men may censure one may all beings be happy and secure may their hearts be wholesome whatever living beings they are be those mentally feeble or strong physically long stout or medium short small or large those seen or unseen dwell in far or near those who are born and those who are to be born may all beings without exception be happy minded let none deceive another nor despise any person whatsoever in any place in anger or ill will let one not wish any harm to another just as a mother would protect her only child at the risk of her own life even so let one cultivate a boundless heart towards all beings 
Let thoughts of infinite love pervade the whole world, above, below, and around, without any obstruction, without any hatred, without any enmity. Whether standing, walking, sitting, or lying down, as long as one is awake, this mindfulness should be developed. This, the wise say, is the highest conduct here. Not embracing false views, virtuous and endowed with insight, giving up attachment to sense desires, indeed, such a person does not come again for repeated becoming. 